What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle. Coming to you with another YouTube video. Oh, yeah, internationally renowned and worldwide. I think his words at Crypto Muscle and the Crypto Muscle Network. Coming to you in another video. And so, let's take a look at BitMy, all right? It's been a few days since I last talked about BitMy. I mean, shit. It's been, uh, let's look a look, let's take a look at, when was the last time I talked about them here? Let me see. Uh, let me go, let's do a search over here. BitMy. It's been, uh, five days. So, so far I've been doing a five-day turnaround of these. 9th and the 14th, and today is now the 19th, all right? So, that's where it's at. And, uh, we're going to take a look at BitMy, see, uh... What we got going on over here in terms of the latest update. And, you know, there's not very many sort of high-yield platforms I'm in right now when you really look at it, all right? When you really take a look at what I'm in, it's uh, only BitMy, USDT Pool, if you really think that's considered a hype, and TFVPN, which I kind of consider it as a hype, you know? So, you know, because of just the way it is and it's the way it looks in terms of the structure and the platform itself, I don't know, I just feel like it's more or less like a hype. And then that's really it, you know. I mean, all the other ones are kind of more midterm or mid-level platforms, as I like to call it. So it's, um, you know, something to, you know, look at there that I like diversification right and I do like high yield platforms but I'm just not in too many of them right now just there just hasn't really been too many around right and so you know we got legacies we have mid levels we have high yield platforms and this one definitely has that feel of a high yield platform and so uh, let's take a look what we have here uh, 11% daily for 10 days, and then there's 5% daily for 30 days. So, I opted for the 5% daily for 30 days. At the time I entered this, you know, 10 days ago, I kind of wanted to kind of get away from that sort of C12-like plans was my mode at that time. And I know I joined a couple other ones since that's more or less kind of like that. But I wanted to just go back to the original high yield platform formula, which was kind of similar to this, right? 5% for 30 days, so that's why I went for it. I mean, usually it's either or, right? But this one offers both methods here. It both, both plans offer the same minimum, same maximum, same daily earnings you just earn differently right and so uh when you look at the differences here 11 percent daily for 10 days and you put in say like a thousand dollars here all right you're gonna have a daily profit 110 total return eleven hundred dollars all right, so that's in 10 days. 30 days, you know, you're earning 50 a day, 1500 for the 30 days. Which one do you feel is better for you, right? That is the question. Well, when you look at it, you're going to have $500 uh, net profit, right? Because they're $1,000 originally, $500 net profit. That's in 30 days. So let's see here. For 10 days, you're netting $100, right? 1000 will become 1100 So $100 in 10 days. Well, if you couple that with now 30 days, you're making only 300 bucks, right? Because 100 for 10 days, another 100 for another 10 days, another 100 for another 10 days. That's 30 days, 300 bucks. So in a sense... Well, shit, it makes more sense to go 5% daily for 30 days because you're going to make $500, right? Which is 
$200 more than the first plan. But it's really up to you because sometimes some people like the shorter term plans, right? 10 days only. Uh, and then here it's 30 days. I opted for the 30 days because, um, like I said, I wanted something different, but at the same time, I like these kind of plans, so that's why I went for it. So currently we're at 10 days, 12,267 in, 5,300 out, already up to 773 total people inside. Not bad, not bad. We're gonna look at the FAQs before we go inside. Um, let me see. Minimum withdrawal above ten dollars. It says that there's no minimum for withdrawal, but if you go above ten dollars, um, the system will auto process the withdrawal. Okay, very interesting. Uh, okay. Uh, cryptocurrencies, they accept Bitcoin, ETH, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, Dash, Doge, Tron, Binance, Tether, and more will be added in the future. I guess if, uh, this thing gains more traction, it's a possibility that it'll add more cryptos, right? So again, uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin, ETH, Bitcoin Cash, Doge, Tron, BNB, USDT, BEP20, TRC20, and ERC20, right? And they have a Telegram group as well to accompany this. So it's not bad. And um, I think withdrawals are instant, but not instantaneous to where, you know, you're busting on your pants like I like to. Because, you know, that's how fast it is, right? Yeah, see, I don't know. I don't see that anywhere that even states that. So, I think it's instant but not instantaneous. All right. So, uh, let's go do withdrawals here. Will it let me take $2? I don't know. I thought it wouldn't. Because the way it was explained. But, I don't know. We could take a look and see but I don't think it's gonna take it though yeah no less than 10 bucks ooh BP20 is ten dollars we'll try that out no less than twenty dollars for BP20 okay how about TRC20, 251.62? Yeah, that's right. Take it. So, let's see. And if you notice, my voice is a little bit more harsh today. I was doing a lot of yelling yesterday and it caught up to me on my voice so that's what happened there if if you notice my voice sounds different maybe so for some people it looks it sounds the same to you here we go here we go and yes yeah, so it's a, you know it's not instantaneous and uh, unless I hear otherwise, got nothing to worry about right now at the moment. Unless I hear otherwise. Because like I said, it's not instantaneous. So you know, we'll see what happens though on that. But yeah, I wanted to make a, a return look into BitMy and see, you know, how high we could go with BitMy. Is it pie to the sky oh my guess we're gonna find out from bit my right we don't know we don't know we're just gonna see and um but from the way things are bit my 
says they're going to stay around for a little bit of time there. So we're going to see if they can even at least complete a cycle, a 30-day cycle. How about that at least? And beyond, you know. So, you know, that's something to think about there. And the reason, another reason why I didn't do 11 daily for 10 days is because it's exactly like Quantixus. Let's see if these guys come back online here. It's loading. Yeah, there's a site called Quantixus. Same exact plans. So, ooh, is it offline now? Okay, maybe Quantixus is offline now. Took them a while to get offline. Oh, they're mine, they're mine. Here it is. About to say. 68 days running though, so they've been running good. But, you know, it's the same thing. 11% daily for 10 days. So, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm not earning much out of that sort of plan. That's why I opted out of it when I could. Um, but as far as I know, Quantixus is still paying, uh, which is the same exact plan as this one right here, 11% for 10 days. And uh, yeah, we're going to see if these guys are paying, right? These guys are only 10 days in, and it's still very new, very fresh. And um, that's where it's at, right? But like I was saying, that's why I just went for the 5% daily for 30 days. I feel like it's a little bit more worthwhile to get into and join. And that's why I did that. All right. But to each its own, everybody, uh, you know, does what they want to do. We don't tell nobody what to do. We don't have to sit there and hide behind these uh, shitty disclaimers from the Marcos of the world and things like that. Um, just really think about it. You do your research. You go in with what you're comfortable with. You don't overextend yourself. You don't do anything extra. Just whatever is comfortable. And again, not overextending yourself. And if you do that, the recipe of success is good. Because in the, in the event that a platform fails because nothing is ever guaranteed... Really, especially really in crypto, nothing's ever guaranteed. Well, there it is for you. Um, knowing all that, you should feel okay once they do decide to go in the opposite direction of not paying. That we could just go on and move on, you know, and that's what we've been doing all along. So... Something to keep in mind, something to really think about. And either you like it or you don't, right? Um, these sort of opportunities are not for everybody. Uh, I've always said that each and every time. And my message has not changed from the get-go since I've been on YouTube, right? I don't have to bullshit lines. I don't have to say, oh, man, this is the greatest thing ever. I don't have to do any of that stuff. I just tell it like it is. And sometimes telling it like it is can really create, you know, <laughs> it can create a pain in the ass and, oh, you know, butt pain to uh, certain people. But it's better to just put the truth out there than some bullshit lines just because you don't want to sound bad or look bad, right? So a lot of YouTubers do that, you know. They want to act like, everything's good or they'll downplay it when things are really bad and I don't know why they do that though it, it just doesn't make sense to me and if you just be forthright as possible people will appreciate that more I mean I would I don't know what you guys but I would I would definitely appreciate that more but you can see the bullshit that goes on, on YouTube all the time so easy, right? It's really hard to find people, shit like me, right? They just tell it like it is and brings on opportunities. And yeah, of course, they're not 100%. I wish, you know? So if I had a crystal ball, man, we'd all be rich. 
But anyhow, check it out. Bitmy. Links down below. Comment down below. I'll see you in the next one.